This room is where she did all her writing. It was a very special place for her and very few people came up here. She went to Japan. She was very, very interested in the whole Buddhist side of the Japanese. This photograph here of Ivanovich Gurdjieff, who had a, a great influence on her. This she found very helpful to her when she needed to be still. Pierre Travers had studied with Mr. Gurdjieff in Paris. She was very, very enthusiastic about this center for the Gurdjieff work. He found that there were so many um, ways in the East that were passing on messages, passing on stories through movement. Pamela studied these movements for years, and that may be from the study of these movements that she brought this dance into her books. But another thing about Travers, which is re particularly interesting for me as a choreographer, is her constant reference to dance. I mean, this was in a big appeal when I started to read the books because her, her reference to and relationship between flying and dancing, it's the nearest you can get to flying. The whole metaphysical side that underpinned her writing was very, very important to her. And she lectured um, across America about it. When I was in Arizona living with the Indians for two summers during the war, they gave me an Indian name. And they said, we give you this so that you will never, never tell it to anybody. Anybody can know your other name, but this name must never be spoken. And I never spoke it from that day to this. There is something very strange and mysterious about one's name. I myself always tremble when people I don't know very well take my Christian name. I tremble inside. I don't like it. She spent two summers with the Navajo Indians who made this jewelry and she wore these bracelets and this necklace every day of her life that I knew her. <laughs> 